and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. The house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family. Good morning, Mavericks. Today is Friday, November 2nd. I'm AJ. And I'm Zach, here with your Mavision News. Seniors, you have a chance to receive two free prom tickets by participating in Snap Raise. All students who raise $100 in donations will receive one free prom ticket. Raise $250 and get two free prom tickets. For anyone interested in receiving Spanish credit, the Spanish credit by exam will be on December 8th. Please stop by the counseling office for more information and to pick up an application. National Novel Writing Month has begun. If you're interested in participating, join the Schoology group using the access code. HOSA is accepting donations during all four lunches until Wednesday to benefit the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. If they reach their goal of $1,000, then Mr. Richardson has agreed to shave his head. The PMHS Online Book Club kicked off last week. To participate, you must sign up through Schoology using the access code. If you have any questions, go ask the librarians. All homerooms, clubs, booster clubs, and organizations are invited to dress up a scarecrow, provided by you in a college theme. The winner will receive a trophy and win a $100 Office Max gift certificate. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Evans. The annual blood drive is on November 12th in the gym. You must be at least 17 to give blood and can register in lunch. If you donate blood twice, you will receive a graduation cord. PMHS will be collecting canned and non-perishable food items for the Can-Do Food Drive until November 5th. Students will bring their food items to their first period classes. The winning classes will receive a free Chick-fil-A breakfast. Also, late fees will be cleared for students if you bring cans. The class of 2021 is having a pizza social at their next class meeting. There will be games and prizes along with free pizza and drinks. All sophomores are welcome. Students interested in anime and manga club, as well as the poetry club and workshops, need to sign up in Skedge. There will be a district college night at the Passenger Convention Center on November 12th. Students will be able to meet and speak with representatives from more than 80 different colleges and universities. Some of our Mavericks got to experience voting for the first time. Here's Javon with more. Mavericks, we're here at the voting registration with... Leo. Alright Leo, I got a couple questions for you. Why do you think it's important to vote? To, so you can put your word out there like... Like you, you can decide who you want to like be... Like, I don't know. Be in charge of you? Yeah, yeah, be in charge got of it, you. got it. Why did you vote personally? So I can put my word out there, so people can know, like, well, people don't know, but... Have your so, voice? Yeah, I can have my own voice. Yeah, you know what I'm gotcha. I voted because I think it's important that, you know, I have a say in who runs the government and I have a say in the certain laws that get passed. Okay, okay. Why do you, why do you think other people should vote? Because I think it's important that people also have a voice and they also have a say in who runs the government and who makes decisions for them. I think it's important the people get to decide what's right for them, not just the government. Okay, thank you, man. Ms. Lance, why do you think it's important for people to vote? I think it's really important um, for people to vote, especially young people, so you can have your voice heard and um, you can have a say in what happens in your country and uh, also in your city and your state. Uh, if you don't go cast your vote, you kind of don't have any room to complain if they do something you don't like. Okay, what do you think this election specifically is going to change about Texas? I think it all depends on who comes out to vote. That's why you guys are here today. <laughs> the Maverick Theater Department has been working on the fall production Orphan Train. Here's some insight on the production, story, and characters. I'm here with Mrs. Domer. All right, Mrs. Domer, what, are, what can we expect out of this show? Oh my goodness, um, Orphan Train is a serious production. So it's about 
an orphan, I guess you would say. Um, it's partially a personal story to me because my great grandfather came to Iowa on the orphan train. So it's about how the orphans of New York came out to the Midwest to get families because they didn't have any when they were in New York. Either their parents passed away or they ran away or whatever the case may be. And it's about the train coming out with orphans. And it's about a couple in Kansas who doesn't have a child and would like to have children. What does it take to put on a show like this? Oh my goodness, this is a serious show, so it's way different than doing comedy. Um, a lot of background work, a lot of historical research, a lot of Midwest values, which is where I come from. So learning about what things are like in the Midwest, all the way from sound cues to how they dressed in the 1920s. Uh, I expect the audience to just be real surprised, and really I just want them to know that you should be ready for whatever comes your way. All right. What is your thought and outtake on this whole show? My thought thoughts on this show are that it's a very beautiful show it really is a beautiful show um once you're watching the show and you're paying attention to what's going on on stage uh you sh you slowly start to see the the storyline unravel and you start to see the beauty behind uh, what's really going on here what's your favorite part about this play my favorite part about this play is that it's a different environment that we haven't actually touched on ever in my four years so i say that this is a big step up and i hope a lot of people come out and see it Come see the show on Friday at 3 and 7 p.m. and Saturday at 7 p.m. Here's a sports report of a different kind. So we're in the Connect program and we thought a great way to have some team building with our Connect classes is to simulate a Harry Potter theme. And so we have uh, Mrs. Wynn as Gryffindor House and Mrs. Woods is Ravenclaw and Mr. Rink is Slytherin and Miss Lavachek is Hufflepuff House. So we have two teams and we have um, a chaser who um, goes and tries to, we have three chasers on the field. They try to make goals in three, you know, we have three different goals. And then we have some beaters and they throw balls like um, to try to hit the chaser so they have to drop the ball. And then our biggest points is for a seeker. He seeks the snitch. And um, once that snitch is caught, then the end of the game happens. And so, um, Catching the snitch is the most points. You get 30 points for catching the snitch. Uh, Gryffindor was versus Slytherin, um, and the Slytherins won their match. Stay tuned for more Quidditch matches. Hey, juniors, the class of 2020. We're actually running this out to buy this newly designed t-shirt for only $15, but that's not it. With this shirt, you also get a free shirt. Yes, you heard me right, free. So come to the Trading Post and check out our sales. Go support our Lady Mavericks tonight as they play their first area playoff game. Treat of the day comes from Sammy and he tweeted, All I know is I'm pulling out the Christmas tree today. If you would like to be tweeted of the day, follow us at PMHS underscore MavVision. Thank you for watching Mavs. Happy National Jersey Friday and Happy Christmas! No, Merry Thanksgiving! Bye. Bye.